And uh, to kind of give the audience an idea, when I first started my follicular journey back in 2012 or so, uh, I was constantly looking at different hair transplant surgeons, and one thing I kept coming up upon was, you know, do this via the RTAS machine or do this via the Neograph machine. Mm -hmm. So do you use a particular machine to do the follicular unit extractions, or do you everything by hand via like a punch biopsy tool? Well, that's a common misconception with patients that are out there, you know, trying to get information about follicular unit extraction. And with some other videos I've put together, I really try to educate my patients to try to remember that all of these different machines are just machines. It's still the doctor that has to do it, with the mm -hmm. exception of the artist, which is the automated robot. Um, but the doctor still has to be there to set the, set the robot up, to make sure it stays online, to make sure that it's not extracting bad hairs. It's still just a tool. Um, I have three different systems that I use. Mm. You know, I have an eograft, I have a safe scribe, and I have uh, what's called a vortex. But all of them require me, by hand, with this machinery, to extract the hair. Um, my personal preference right now is, is lean towards the uh, vortex, which is a very handy, uh, very lightweight instrument that I use for the extraction process. It, in my opinion, makes it go very smooth, very quickly. Mm. Uh, has a depth gauge and has all the things I look for in a, in a proper machine, but it still has to be the surgeon doing the work. One of the things we run into in this industry, which a lot of us speak out against quite verbally and openly, is that in this process of doing uh, hair restoration surgery, it, it is surgery and it needs to be the surgeon that's doing the work. Um, there's a lot of places that have different machines and just have the technicians come in and they do you know, almost the entirety of the case. The doctor might walk in the, in, the, in the morning and say hello, shake a hand, and then they're out. And that's just not what we believe, you know, real hair restoration surgery is all about. It's, it's really about the doctor doing the work. Uh, right. There's artistry involved in it and making sure that you get good hair and that it's done by hand. So all of it has to be done by hand, by the doctor's hand. No, just so it doesn't matter so much the tool as it does the doctor's skill. And some doctors, you know, if they're, uh, may, may feel more comfortable using a neograft machine. Some may be more comfortable using a safe scribe. Um, there's even a few doctors out there that do, you know, use a, a, a punch biopsy, a, a sharpened punch biopsy. I personally like, you know, I've used all of these different uh, approaches, and I have found one that for my hand works very well, and that's the Vortex uh, from Coal Instruments. I, I'm very fond of that machine. I think it was a great investment for our practice and, and we use it quite frequently.